Hey everyone, a little bit late this week, I was waiting to see what would happen to Matt Hancock and in the end the Welsh football squad did just about manage to outlast him before he was forced to resign from his job, before also of course resigning himself to getting a right earful from the wife this summer. Or maybe he'll continue the politics and lies at home and continue to strenuously deny what happened, perhaps with a questionable story about them not kissing and he was just trying to save taxpayers money by sharing some chewing gum. Either way, Sajid Javid now has his job and promises to quote, learn from his predecessor's mistakes, which presumably means quote, knowing where the cameras are located. You know, I've never been entirely sure what makes MPs imagine they can carry out a surreptitious affair in one of the most heavily surveilled buildings in the country, but either way it seems evident that the health secretary, sorry, former health secretary, decided to research how the health service works by watching Carry On Matron, who her misses. Certainly that would explain the lack of competence and general ineptitude over the last year and a bit. You know, I think of it, a Carry On movie set in Downing Street would be really good if you had a time machine. Kenneth Williams looks a bit like Michael Gove. I'd imagine Carrie Johnson would be played by Babs Windsor, and I could see Hattie Jacks playing Emily Thornberry. Anyway, back in the real world, the only surprise was that somebody actually got sacked by Boris Johnson for cheating on their wife, although I guess the empathy maybe explains why he was able to hang on for a few days longer than he would have been able to five years ago. Just be careful saying that the resignation was overdue though. Some Labour activists might mishear you, think it was over, adieu, and start posting anti-Semitic conspiracy theories. You know, talking about conspiracy theories, the other story this week was the American report published by the Pentagon into UFOs. This was looking specifically at 144 reports made about the phenomena since 2004. And the general gist is that they're real, but they don't know what they are. In other words, the aircraft equivalent of one of those spiky vegetables they sell at my local Asian supermarket. Officially, there's speculation that the videos might be experimental Russian or Chinese aircraft, but most likely these are American-made, and this is all just a way to get it onto TV to show off what they have and scare anybody who might want to attack the US Air Force in the future. Enemies like North Korea or Iran or just school that are in the wrong place at the wrong time in the Middle East. You know, it's worth remembering that the SR-71 flew at Mach 3 and that was designed in the early 60s and that B-2 stealth bomber was designed half a century ago so it's likely that despite how inefficient and corrupt the military industrial complex is they can probably have come up with something a bit fancier in the intervening years. Or perhaps it is aliens. If so, it's pretty damning that they threw trillions of miles to get here, watched an episode of Love Island and then decided to turn around and go home. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.